Hi folks, how are you doing? Yes, jumper and sweater season has arrived. Surely that is the best news ever. It is. Anyway, moving on. So today as I'm doing this video, is the 17th of October 2023 at the time of filming. It'll be uploaded towards the end of this week. So we've got November and November, and is it November 24 then? Okay. Put November 2024 in your diaries because November 2024, I know it's 23 now, but if you're new to my channel, what happens on here is I say wrong dates. And when I say wrong dates, it started off where a few of you observed me saying wrong dates and then emailed me and said, you know what's happened on that wrong date you said. So now when I say wrong dates, we write them down in our diaries because something big happens. Always happens. Always right. I'm joking. Anyway, so the November 2023, before I go any further, I am aware that I'm sat towards the endish of October doing this video and that right now we could look out into that world and see chaos, war, disharmony, poverty, anger, darkness, evilness, all kinds of different things. But I'm also aware that when I look out of that window, I see joy, beauty, abundance, hope, healing, challenges overcome, growth, stability. I see all kinds of things. And in one second, we can see all, kind of th all kinds of things. I, I, where I'm at with a lot of it now, I, I know I've had my wrist slapped, <laughs> which is nothing new, because I've not read on certain things like Israel and Palestine and all of that. Number one, I don't have time. I don't have time. Um, I said, you know, my, my, my business started to grow in December, January, and it's gone from strength to strength. I don't have time. Um, I wish I did, but I just don't. I've, I've got to be really, really specific with videos because if I don't, I'll end up just losing my train with my content. And it's not that I don't think it's important. I think it is important, but there's also other wars going on at the minute. And when I've tried to do this kind of stuff in the past, when I've read on something, I then get my hand slapped again because do you not know that this is also and, and people take it some people can take it so personally that I know I've done political reads and I've taken a few of the big names that are going on at the time and then I've been and I've got a comment come in that what about this country and why have you forgotten it and I just like oh god man I'm one person and I can't do it and to be quite honest because of the healings I do and all that kind of work I've got to look look after my energy and I can't keep going into dark, deep stuff like that. I got my wrist slapped this morning again. <laughs> because I've not done any channelings for some time. Although I did. I put one on last week. Again, channelings take a lot of work. And there's a lot of pre-preparation goes on for them. And I don't just want to just waffle on about any channeling. And just bring anybody through and just boom, just bounce it onto the channel. I, I, don't want, I don't work like that. And I, I'm aware that... There's many different people follow me for all different reasons. So I try and do a bit of everything if I can. A bit of royalty. I like doing the raw stuff. The political stuff, not so much. Um, energy updates like this one. Monthly updates, pick a card. I try and put a bit of variety in vlogs. I, I'm a one-man band and I can't possibly read on all of these subjects. I also observe when others try and do it and they can become quite exhausted. And they can it can affect your mental health. Reading on, on, on big subjects can affect your mental health in leaps and bounds. Um, it's interesting because at the minute I'm reading The White Ship by Charles Spencer on my Kindle. And obviously we know The White Ship was about the white ship going down, which consequently caused a war and between King Stephen and Queen Matilda. And I was reading it and I was like, you know... That obviously is in Britain and Normandy, but we have survived war. Our ancestors have risen and survived in war. We've risen and survived in war since the beginning of time. This is nothing new. What we're seeing in the world now is nothing new. It's just more prevalent because it's in your face on social media. And I think that November to me, I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting. I looked in my moon diary, well, in my astrology diary, and I looked for November to flick through the November astrology, and it went straight to December. 
And I actually went straight to December. I thought, oh my God, they're, they're missing November. They've not put November in the diary. And I'm like, oh God, I wonder if they know they've done that. Obviously, they don't know they've done that. And I'm getting quite, oh God, I can't believe they've missed November out. And I had to go back again and realise that it, it hadn't been missed out. It's just my big fingers. And if somehow I don't know anyway. And I thought there's something in that. It's this thing of not, of wanting to miss, we want to jump, we want to jump, to, we want to get out of the difficultness that we're going through at the minute, difficultness, that might not even be a word, it's one of my words, people want to get out of the difficultness and, and, and it would, it's the same with he, personal healing sessions, a lot of the time we want to get to the good stuff, we want to get to ascension, we want to get to levelling up the, 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 the D's, you know, the 5 D three of 60 and all of that. And, and what we try and do is jump, leapfrog over the, the, the icky stuff, the dark stuff, the terrible stuff, the evil stuff. I don't want to look at that. I don't want to look at that. I'm the same. And actually, that's where the magic is in the dark stuff. The magic isn't in the dark. Well, the magic is in the dark stuff, working our way through the dark stuff. Anyway, so when I did finally get to November, I came to this page, which is three hooded figures under the moon. That's what it is. Three hooded figures under the moon. And I was like, that is for the first week of, and that is called, and then the clouds pass. I thought I was on a waffle with this, but I, I must admit I was close to switching off the camera two minutes ago, thinking Claire's on a waffle here, shut up. But uh, where is this going, Claire? I'll tell you where this is going. The portrait is called, or painting is called, and then the clouds parted. Write that down, Claire, you dipstick, because you'll forget that and then go, Gary, what did I say earlier, even though Gary's not in here, so I don't even know he can help me. Then the clouds parted, November. Then the clouds parted. I'm just... That's the title for November. So then the clouds parted. So three figures. This is where we are. There's so much shadow purging, so much pain so much never mind wars of countries i spoke on my instagram this morning and i sp and i and i and i and i and I, went and I did a video on the war within that there are everyone at the minute has got some form of war what i'm doing like that war within and the external world is always a reflection of the internal world so there is this energy of war here anyway and we're having to countries, the world, villages, towns, workspaces, families, communities, friendship groups, homes as well, families within four walls. There is a lot of conflict out there at the minute, a lot of heavy, heavy karmic stuff that we're working through and clearing. But then the clouds parted. Those cloaks in the, in the painting there, that's where we are. It feels heavy, we want to hide from the world. There's a lot of cocooning going on, but then the clouds parted. So let's get into the cards. I will, if I remember, try to do some global predictions, but please, 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 if I don't cover something, don't put it in the comments, because that just, it's not nice. It's not, and it's always put in the ways I've done it on purpose. Claire, did you not know this? I actually get told off in the comments on my own channel. It's bizarre. <laughs> but I'm just saying, well, if I do forget something, if I do, I mean, come on, let's let's be real. You can't cover anything at the minute. You can't cover everything because it, there's too much of it. But if I do forget something, it is what it is. Um, November energies. November energies. November energies. I'm using The Everyday Witch by Deborah Blake. Three cards. November energies. I feel as though the energy is going like that at the minute, so let's ride with it. Oof. Two of Swords, choice point. We're blindfolded. We're unsure. We've got two swords. We've got a bullseye in front of us. Do you see what I said there? It's not actually called a bullseye, is it? That's called something. I know what it's called, but it's not a bullseye. The bullseye is the, the centrepiece. So, we've also got the card of strength for November. It's almost like you can't fail. It's almost like November is an energy where you can't fail. 
No, you can't fail. Because even if you feel as though you have failed in November, you've not failed. Because even if you do a big, bad mess up or F up, they're still teaching a lesson in that. So November is all about taking that pressure off of yourself. Taking that pressure off yourself. We can't see the outcome. I've said this, timelines are changing. Predictions, whew, mm, changing. We're going into new energies. The days of predictions being written in, written in, set in stone, not written in stone, uh, uh, diminishing. So even if you feel as though you have messed up, which you will if you're a human being, you actually haven't. You can't fail. Maybe that's always been the message. There is this movement. Many, but I think I said this in June, in June's was it or July's where I said there was um, environmental stuff happening with the world and people having to move, move quickly, thinking on their feet. This is also a bit of a repeating message that's coming. Up. Maybe there's something else coming in November to do with the environment, but this is about what's been blocked to you in the past being able to go to another direction. So this isn't just about the environment, maybe that's another thing that's coming, but this is about whatever's been blocking us, not pushing against it anymore. Okay, that's not worked. This path that I plan to walk is now blocked. That's fine, brilliant, but now I'm gonna pack and I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna take my power back, Six of Pentacles, which is the card of the elite in the middle and the, the, the normal people either side. And it's that yes sir, Oliver, Oliver Twist card. But this is about power, regaining your power, abundant mindset. I think going into November, November and this isn't about not wanting to see the dark in the world. I actually came across a great video. I don't know who it was and I don't know what platform it was. It was quite some time ago. And it was one of those influential speakers. And he says, when you see the darkness in the world, it's really easy to go like this and to just stop and stare at it, <gasps> rub it in the headlights. He says, don't, because it'll make you ill. This is what you do. You look at it, you acknowledge you've seen it, you see all depths of it, but then you get on with your day. You don't say, la, 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 I can't see anything. The world is perfect. Look at those unicorns. Oh, my God, those roses round the door and all of that. You don't do that. La, 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 la. We don't do that neither. We say, yeah, I can see this. I can see the pain, the war. But I can also see the beauty. And also as well, knowing your place in the world. I said in this morning's Instagram video that... Um, if you feel hopeless and helpless at this time, you're not. You want to heal the world, you heal yourself. You want to heal the world, you heal yourself. Um, yeah, I like this. If it's not working, move, change, adapt, flow. Maybe that's why things are getting difficult for you. Because you're pushing against something. And November comes in and it's like, up the game. Taking your power, empowerment. Knowing that you run the show, not somebody else. And abundance. Also as well, looking after your own back garden. At the minute, it's so easy to look at other countries and see their war, their political mess, their financial, whatever it is that's going on. But actually looking at our own countries. Because... If we spend as much time focusing on our own countries, on our own gardens, it stands to reason you're out in your garden and you're rubbernecking, okay? And you're looking at that garden, that garden, that garden, that garden. You're telling your neighbour you need to weed. You're telling that neighbour you need to water. You're telling that neighbour what you need to do. And whilst you're doing that, your own garden is going into disarray. And I think some of that's been going on as well with the global stuff, people have been really giving themselves a little bit of distraction by looking over the fence, looking over the sea to somewhere else. When in actual fact, different countries run in different ways. So allowing countries as well to have their moment, be it via war, politics, be it via royalty stuff coming up, however, financial stuff, 
allowing a country to work through its stuff without wag, 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 and judge, 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 a stepping back and letting a country go through where it needs to go through. We can never understand, we cannot always understand what we're seeing. Many of us can't even understand our own country and our own karma and our own country's karma. So these are really powerful messages of bringing it back to yourself, bringing it back to what you, where your power is. So November 2023, I'm now using the Witching Hour Oracle by, who is it by? Cherie Gerdhart. Am I going to do three? I'll do three. Seeing as it's you guys. Ooh. <laughs> Prophecy, the blue moon. The beginning, the wolf moon. Ooh, was that an orb? What was that? Like a little light thing just like literally around my nose then. That was, I've never seen that. Like a little flicker, so it could have been anything a fairer. Um, creation the growing moon creation so november is the month of prophecy we're going to be getting more third eye upgrades They're, they've been happening already so more seeing more of the world now i've said this to people people said i want my third eye to open third eye isn't just about doing predictions your third eye is being able to see what your physical eye can't and that can be the light and the dark and the good, the evil, the bad, the... So being aware that if your third eye is opening, you're going to see more of it. But it's how you, in shamanism, we talk about using the third eye, but how we view through the third eye is also through the heart chakra, using the heart chakra to filter it. So, for example, you see something heavy on the world stage or in your life, and if we're looking at it, you can see more than what maybe other people around you can see. And then we can go into judgment and fear and, and anger and, and anxiety and all kinds of things. But it's actually looking through the heart chakra, which is it's how you neutralise it and cleanse it. So prophecy, more people's third eyes open. More people are going to be going into the esoteric, into spirituality. And they may be making light steps, but more people are going to be wanting to think deep in November. They're going to be wanting to connect with the ancients I'm getting. Their ancient past lives their ancient ancestors, their ancient gods, the ancients of their country, the ancients of their village, their town, their city. So more people are going to be wanting the ancient wisdom, not just physical beings or energetic beings, but the knowledge, the Akshay records, all the knowledge that is out there at any one time that we can access. We are beginning to create a new world, so beginning and creation. So this is newness. Also as well, when I look at that card, we've got a book, Shape Records, turning of a page. So there's a big page turning moment. Um, that's interesting. Look at her. She's she's almost, you know, you go through, is it a catalogue? Or you just flick through a catalogue? <laughs> Can you remember catalogues? You used to get thick like Argos catalogue. And you flick through a catalogue and you just go, like that, no, I'm not even going to look at it. I'm bored, I'm bored. I'm waiting for kids to come back from school. I'm bored, I'm waiting for husbands to come back from work. I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. Well, many people are doing this. Many of us are doing this all different. I'm bored. Scroll, 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 scroll. Distraction, distraction, distraction. But while we're getting distracted, and I'm not, and when I talk about distraction, I'm not saying that somebody's distracting you because nobody distracts you apart from yourself. So when we go, they are doing that to distract us, we're actually very disempowered in that moment and we're being the victim because what happens is they don't distract you, you distract you because there is a phone there, it's there. It's up to me whether I pick it up. It's up to me whether I read that. It's up to me whether I watch that. So the only person that distracts you is you. So she's distracted. So November as well, we've got the 11-11 portal. We're coming out of eclipse season in November. We've got some good moons coming as well. We're coming up to solstice as well. So we're bang smack in the middle of eclipsic, eclipsic, eclipsic. Write down eclipse because that's something else I come out with as well. Words that actually mean something at a later date. Eclipse, solstice. So November feels magical, biblical, profound. 
but it's also got a shadow aspect to it as well creating beginning and creating harmony and bliss and love and new beginnings out of the chaos and it's almost like i can see these light alchemists that are all human beings that are looking at the world and they're creating and weaving something better they're learning from the wars in the world they're learning from the chaos and all the stuff that dredge the sludge the gunk the ickness and they're creating nice lives for themselves nice life for their communities and then it's almost like the other group they're going <clears throat> and it's they're losing themselves in it so i like november hmm The next card is the Shaman's Dream by Alberto Valordo and Colette Baron Reed. So the Shaman's Dream, November 2023. And it's in 24. Again, make sure you've written down November 24. I will forget that. Um, please remind me. <laughs> People do actually, I, you know, I always forget. I do forget it. Um, I didn't forget the 30th of August, though, when Mohammed al fire died. There was another date as well. Anyway, let's just move on. Honestly, November. Resonating. Whale song. What resonates with your soul? So in November, you're going to be asked to fulfil your soul. You're going to be asked to do, read, play, talk about things that fulfil you, that make you happy, that make you abundant, that make you have fun. So thinking about what you can do in relation to self-care, days out, pampering yourself, what book are you going to read, walks, really being asked to look at your life. Is your life resonating, your career, your love life, your family, your friends? We've got the card of caterpillar and opportunity. So very similar to the messages we've already got. There's heaps of opportunity coming. I can already feel these new things coming in, upgrades, where you're getting ideas and clarity in your work, your business, your relationships. There's a bit of a to this. Sometimes it can come in too intense and it can be a bit like ADHD where you feel a bit, oh, where you can't concentrate and you feel a bit jumpy with it all. Ooh. Oh, I've just got an idea. I've just got a download about that. I'm getting a lot of people are having ADHD-like symptoms because they're not grounding. And there's all this information coming in, all this global, if we're just being pummeled with information, energetic information, physical information, upgrades, downloads, internal system deregulations, upgrades, and all of that, purging all the past, all the stuff coming from the past. We've got all the global stuff and the earth stuff doing it. And we can be quite scatty and ADHD-like symptoms. So grounding. Trees, 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 hugging trees. There's, there's a, a meditation you can do where you can stand with your back, your spinal cord to a tree, or you can sit bare feet in, forest bathing, I walk around with bare feet. Anyway, I've got socks on, but I never wear slippers in the house. So grounding, grounding, grounding. If you find yourself going, I can, because of the, I mean, anyone that works with energy can, can end up a little bit ADHD anyway. And I can end up a bit like that when I've got a lot of coming in. Is just don't, don't be freaked out by it. or And don't get yourself diagnosed with anything, which people are trying to do at the minute. I mean, I mean if you do feel as though you've got it, obviously do that. But these are just like tendencies, if that makes sense. It's to ground. I'm always, if I start flicking too much or I start getting a little bit, I just, I'm, I'm aware of what it is. It's just, we're just pummeled with so much. Um, so grounding yourself with all these new intense energies that are coming in. The frequencies are so intense at the minute. Daily, I mean, geomagnetic storms, solar flares, the earth, everything, the Schumann, the, 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 the solstices, the the um, the portals are so in, they're getting more and more intense. So we can get more and more fired up with energy and not know what to deal with it. Ground, 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 ground. And put, plan yourself as well, list yourself, say not today. Thinking, like just being a bit 3D with yourself as well, I think can be grounding. <gasps> What have you just said? Have you just said being a bit 3D? Yes, I have said that. There's nothing wrong with it. 
sometimes you have to remember that you're a human being and you have to do a list or you have to do priorities and boundaries. So you have to be a bit earthy and a bit 3D and a bit human -y to actually rebalance yourself. In order to go up, you have to be going down, go down. So you can't you can't elevate if you're not grounded. So ground, ground, ground. Interesting card. Dream thief, refusal of the call. Refusal of the call. So this is what already happening, not telling you anything new here whatsoever. When someone sees you doing good things and you're not playing the game or you're not getting into the doom, the gloom, the fear, they will try and pinch you. Refuse of the call because they can't. So say you've got this beautiful ball of light that's buzzing around you. You're doing good things, thinking good things. You're feeling good. You know life's not perfect. You're aware of all your stuff. The dream thieves come in. And these, these are external energies. But there are also people that house these external energies that will come in to pinch you, to, to try and bring you down. Also as well, people refusing the call. What was I going to go into with that? Refusing the call. We didn't come here to spend our day constantly looking at conspiracy theories and losing ourselves. We didn't come here for that. We came here for so much more. The minute we start, and I've done this in the past, and I used to do a video about this at some point. See what I mean about video content? You should see my list of videos. Um, where, where it's almost like these dream thieves that want to come in and just take away your, 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 your good moment. Take away your moment of feeling good. Um, and make you feel silly or thick or inadequate or stupid or did you not know this that kind of thing and wanting to come in and stop you on your path your healing path so facing this and accepting that they're going to be there and they're there for a reason because you know when someone wants to take your dreams off you or take your light off I'll send you some shit. You know what the answer is? You're actually meant to shine brighter. So when someone comes in to try and bring you down, and yes, I'm going to talk, I'm going into soul, soul contracts here. They come in to try and oppress you and bring you down. Their soul contract is actually also to rise you up because you need the dream thieves to come in for you to go, no, stops with me, I'm rising. You may lick your wounds, herb, herb, herbinate, Herminate, herminate, herminate. Whew. Cocoon, herminate. What's she on about, herminate? Anyway, moving on. Maybe write that down, word down. Cocoon and look after yourself, but then you've got to rise. And that's what we're meant to be doing. Rise, rise, rise. So when someone comes in to give you a little bit of... Like when I get wrist slapped, I... And then actually I go... And we rise even further and I just make a laugh about it because actually it's all about rising and it's all about stepping into your power and your truth so let's look at the world let's we know now we've got some good things coming I'll do a 11 11 separate video I might even be doing a pick a card for the 11 11 portal and an energy read so we'll we'll look more at that in that video but let's look at I know there's concerns about the global world. So let's look at the global world. Show me the world, the global world, the global stage in November 2023. Queen of Wands. Rising divine feminine energy. Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the youth, the youth rising up. Again, looking at these cards, you could look at these cards and go, lots of swords, planning, plotting, backstabbing, war, violence, all of that. Three of Pentacles people plotting. You could look at that, maybe. And there probably is. 
There will be people plotting. There will be lots of swords energy. But there's something else coming from that. So young people, young leaders that are up and coming, that are observing this time in history, either from their schools, colleges, universities, or from above waiting to come into incarnation. Yeah. Observation to an obs I'm getting the word observation tower. It's almost like these youngsters they're in the observation tower looking out and deciding what they're going to do when they get their moment. The three of pentacles. Now, I've seen each pentacle represents a country. No idea which these countries are, but what I'm seeing is like, you know, what's the game? What's the game? Chess. I'm seeing three pentacles on a chessboard. There's somebody playing games with three separate countries on a chessboard, lining them up. Um, clarifier for that. Clarifier. Magician, yeah. Completion. The magician and completion. Light wins. All the tools on the table. Eight ace of cups. Nine of cups. Completion. I honestly look at these cards and I don't feel anything to fear. I, that makes me a dipstick then fair enough. But I seriously, seriously don't see anything to fear. I see some plotting. I see some planning and mysteriousness. But what I see is something that rises from that, the new earth that rises from that. And liberation that rises from that. And actually, no, not in my name that rises from that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull some cards on. Let me write them down. War, politics, royalty. War, politics, royalty. So looking at war, war in the world, the war in the world, the countries that are at war with each other. Three cards, what will November bring to the table in relation to war? Honestly, Ace of Pentacles. Seeding the new, seeding the new earth, thinking about the next generations. I honestly, I'm I want to go on and start doing a bit of prediction work for you, but I'm just not getting it. I'm just, and I'm actually, I think we need to get out of this energy of predictions and ugh, it's message. We want messages, not predictions. Temperance. Temperance is us. Balance. We've also got the Emperor and his scrolls sat on his throne. For some reason, it's not... Oh, it is now. It doesn't matter. Um, the Emperor. Seven of Pentacles. Again, I've pulled cards on war. And it's all it's the same thing. We can't do anything about the leaders of the world. Zilch. Nothing. You can't do anything about a leader. But what you can do is, is balance your own internal energies. Is be aware that, yeah, it's going on, that things are not nice out there for a lot of countries and a lot of people. And send them your love. That's all you can do. You can't sit there obsessing over it and discussing it. But where our power lies is rebuilding a better world for ourselves. And how you do that is in your own internal world. You enjoy your job, your relationships, your marriages, your children. Oh, it's where your power is. Working where your power is. Can I have a card for the Emperor, please? A clarifier for the Emperor. What we're also seeing as well is the damaged divine masculine that's become damaged. 
and that's why people it's, it's it's masculine energy not saying it's men it's the masculine the fiery energy that causes war and it's almost like we need to look after our own divine feminine energy and that's for men as well because men have divine feminine energy within them so gentleness love cuteness fluffy things unicorns um standing in your power as a woman and as a man in your divine power in your empowerment um rebirthing creation art drawing painting praying meditating swimming walking um clarifier for the emperor yeah three of pentacles the leaders plotting and cold and cauldron cold cauldron cauldron which is cauldron um and boundaries very interesting energy so i pull some clarifiers for the emperor and i feel feel the emperor is the ruling people of the world the rulers the presidents and prime ministers but what i'm also seeing is amongst that it's also what's it called i'm getting i got the word navel then so i don't know if that's a sea thing um is within all of these communities, ruling communities, and the armies of the world. Yes, there's a lot of people in there with damaged and masculine energy, but there's also some really decent people in there that are actually holding things back. The illusion and delusion that many people are seeing, with, and we have to have this. We've got to go through this. We can, you can't just jump from 3D into 5D or 6D. This is the bit in the middle that is going to take some time to unravel. But it's not unraveling them against us or us against them. It's unraveling for us all, for us all to come back and come back into harmony with our sense of self and our sense of community. So, war. Countries at war. See how I'm having to say countries at war because everyone's at war with themselves at the minute. Countries at war, November 2023. Purification, it's cleansing. It's purification. It's karma. I don't know. I keep myself to myself. <laughs> but the karma of different countries as well. It's karmic clearing that we may not understand. And again, people pretend they understand, but they don't. We can't understand the karma of different countries, our own karma. Um, so this is also karmic clearing. Um, November 2023, countries at war. The shaman's dream. The right use of power, the spotlight on those in power, radical acceptance, the beloved, transformation, phoenix rising from the ashes. A leader will be seen for what they are in November 2023. Lead, not a specific leader, but leadership. The old leadership is falling, which is why it's gripping on as much as it can right politics and this may be sketches because this is a whole world in front of me now politics november 2023 politics november 2023 people have just lost heart with politics three of swords is it three of swords yeah broken hearted i've had enough it's shit a bores me um, it's almost like we've we've zoned out. We've zoned out. We've switched off. We've zoned out. Some people have. It's going above our heads. Um, yeah, it's almost like people are moving away from it. Yeah. Do you know, this is making sense. I was actually getting concerned about this for myself. You know, when I watch the news lately, can't understand it. And it, it flies over my head. Boom, cannot understand it. And I see, even when I like concentrate and I'm like, boom, I'm focused on you. Very rarely watch the news. Um, I can't understand it. And one of the signs what I'm hearing is, for your healing path is that you actually can't understand the news. 
you're struggling to follow it, you're struggling to comprehend it, you put it on and it's just like a fuzzy, like a buzzing in your brain. And it's like, you find yourself going to eat whoever's in the room here. What did I say about President? What did I, what's going on? I can't. And, and actually you can come across to people that are not aware, quite unintelligent. But this is because we've zoned out. And what makes me think this is the Hermit card here. Oops. We're focusing in on our sense of self. We're moving away from it. You know, like, I remember, I'm obviously UK-based, UK born and bred. So I remember in the 80s and 90s when I was a kid, a child, a teenager, um, the run-up, like, like, we've got an election or something next year, and we're not, me and us and the States, and it's just like, we've just zoned out. Now there's part of me wants to say, should we really be zoning out because it's politics and it's our world and it's our country? But it's almost like we've stopped, we've stoned out, we've stepped back and we're watching it now. It's almost like watching it from above because it's unravelling. It's unravelling because this it's, it doesn't deserve our attention. I want to say it doesn't deserve our attention. I talked about on my Instagram, by the way, if you're watching, you're going, what's this Instagram? She's on about doing these videos. How rude is she? When she's got a YouTube channel, I do daily videos on Instagram and TikTok. My Instagram, Healing for Ascension, and TikTok, Healing for Ascension, Claire Thackeray, is below if you're wanting to watch these daily videos. Um, so like, like me on there, some people just like and follow, isn't it? If you want to see those daily videos. The other day I was talking about time, and I said, you know, imagine... This crystal here is your time allowance for the day. It's full to the top. And each day your guide goes to you like that, your guides. That's your time allowance for today, Barbara. So you get that and you go, right, that's my time allowance. So if you think about that, once that time has gone, it's gone for today, you're left exhausted. So if I said to you, that's your exhaler, right? Once it's gone, you're exhausted. You've got no else left in your tank. Okay, so we're going to lose some of that worrying about family. We're going to lose some of that stressing about being in a traffic jam. We're going to lose a great deal of this stressing about what's on the news and politics. And we're going to do lose the rest of it stressing about what our boss thinks of our latest piece of work. It's gone. My time allowance for the day is gone. Shit, I'm tired. I'm lethargic. I've got nothing else to give. I feel depressed. I'm argumentative. I feel triggered and tricks, trick, trick, trickery and all of that. And ugh, I can't stand my life. I hate my life. Ugh. Because your time's been given to... Every time we watch something, time. Every time we watch something, we're giving our time and energy to it. So take it away from time. This is also a crystal full of energy. So every time you give energy away, you're going to end up with an empty crystal. Once your energy for that day is gone, it's gone. So being mindful of where we spend our time and our energy. And I actually felt quite bad up to, up to this reading that I wasn't actually following a lot of the politics or the news. But I'm what, reading these cards and I'm like, yeah, you're on the right path, Claire. Because it, you're watching something that you can do nothing about. And that may be a trigger for someone, but how can you do something about it when you're in another country? Or if you're in the same country and it's a political thing. So actually spending your time, your energy, on yourself and your own communities is how we change. Ooh, I like this. Right. Drum roll. Royalty. Again, I can't do international royal families. People keep saying to me, I can't do international royal families. I ain't got time. Um, although I get interested with Monaco, but I think that's because it's dramatic. Well, they all are dramatic, aren't they? They're all dramatic at the minute. Are they? Let me know in the comments. Actually, do you know what? I'll, I'll, I think King Charles is reining them in a little bit. I've got a feeling that in the last couple of years of Queen's death, Queen's death, in the last couple of years of Queen's life, I feel as though one or two people were taking the piss um, because of her age and because, you, you know, people do. But I just feel as though Prince Charles, King Charles, has brought in the iron fist for that and actually stopping it and actually reminding people what they're there for. So anyway, I know at the minute the UK stuff seems a little bit quieter. Um, 
I'm sure if you were willing to go and travel down the dark web, you'd find all kinds of shit about shit craziness. But actually, again, it doesn't serve you to travel down the dark web. Um, but yes, at one point, honestly, UK, every day, boom, 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 breaking news. Megan's just had a shit. Harry's taken more weed. That can, well, obviously not that, but that can every day. It was every day at one point. Um, yeah, to relax. <laughs> Royalty, November 2023. I'm just going to look at UK Royal Family because I know that's why you're all here. UK Royal Family, UK Royal Family, UK Royal Family, UK Royal Family. You see what I mean? Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. New beginnings, leaps of faith. The Knight of Cups swings, swings, flies above the ocean with his cup of love hearts, his offerings of love, but underneath a shark swims, waiting to take him down. We've also got the Lover's card. Now, lovers can be about choice and healing and shadow aspects. I just, let me have a clarifier. Who's the shark? No, can I have a clarifier, Knight of Cups? Clarifier, Knight of Cups. Clarifier, Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Mm. <laughs> Eight of Cups. A completion. I want to say... It feels as though I can't find the right words. All is well, and all will be well. It feels as though karmically something's been cleared. Oh, I said this before, something's been cleared. The fool, as I looked at the fool card, then I had to kind of blink because it looked like Kate, Catherine. She's going to take a leap of faith in November into something she's not done before. She's finding her feet and finding her voice. I'm going to be honest with you, when I saw that Knight of Cups, I saw it as Harry and Meghan. Harry on the wound. Harry, Harry, Harry on the wound. And I was going to say Harry on the witch's broom. And it came out as Harry on the wound. And the shark is Megan. Sorry, folks. Um, did I have a clarifier for that? Did I have a clarifier for that? Ace of Swords, the truth comes up. Can I have another clarifier for Knight of Cups? Page of Pentacles, planning and plotting, planning, plotting. The chariot, I think, obviously, I mean, don't, don't turn into a raw raid. Um, Knight of Cups, I think that's Harry and Meghan, and I think that, Give me a card for Harry in November 2023. Prince Harry, November 2023. Prince Harry, November 2023. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles on a seesaw. He stood on a seesaw and he's got the Two of Pentacles. I said Ten of Pentacles. What's Ten of Pentacles? It's not Ten of Pentacles, it's Two of Pentacles. Death, yeah. Now, you watch the news and they look like that at the minute. And I could kick myself because the last roll reading I did about those two, I got, I don't know if you remember it, and I can't remember which video it was, so I can't even tell you to go back and rewatch it. I did a spread on them and I pulled some cards and I, and I kind of moved on from it. And, because, and I'll tell you why we're going to move on because I got the cards of Ace of Cups. And I was going to say to you all, watch them try and love bombers to make it look like they're together. And I actually thought, don't clear in my head. I was like, don't clear because people just think you're having a go. 
just don't say it because that just don't because it, it sounds like you've got the ace of cups and you're just poisoning the ace of cups and then over the past few weeks that's what's been happening i kicked myself because i didn't say it but also as well that is also part of what harry's going through at the minute being in a narcissistic relationship you get that love bomb where you that's how you get dry i know because i've been there you get brought back in and love bombed and it all seems perfect it's gonna work and then boom so it feels as though november could see more of that the energies just don't feel right for him just don't feel right and he's almost like he's uncertain now of where he goes the death card cutting a cord to something or maybe it comes in and does it for him we've got the hanging man so let's not turn it into the harry and Meghan read because i said royal family but because Catherine's come up in the read, I'm now going to pull on Catherine. Catherine, Princess of Wales, November 2023. Star card healing. Have you seen my video on Catherine? My latest one. Charles, I think, Char you know when I said in, she's going to get a leap of faith to do something, I feel Charles knows that he's an older king and he's not got as much in his god that list came out very rude in his crystal okay so his energy tank because he has an energy tank as well i think charles wants to push catherine forward not in a crazy way of oof, pushing her forward but because he can see the greatness that she brings to the family that actually she's going to be the glue that binds the family Catherine's going to be the glue that binds the family. And I think Charles can see this. So Charles is possibly sat with her. I'm wondering if he's doing some mentoring with her, you know. Yeah, an offer. The Four of Wands celebrations. So see having more roles, but more roles that benefit her, not that overwhelm her. Because we know that that kind of work has overwhelmed people in the past. She, yeah, it's almost like you can see her worth. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Let's not turn it into a raw reading, Claire. Be good. Um, what are we on now? So, final messages for November 2023. I just got a famous celebrity will divorce. Or the marriage breaks up of a famous celebrity. I don't know who it was, but that's all I got. Um, <laughs> Needling an ice staff, but that's all I got. Let's see what else we can get. November 2023. The Hermit, it's the same messages coming out. It's the same messages coming out. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, light wins, abundance wins, all shall be well, all is well. The Hermit going within, using the 1111 portal as a real, your next level of healing. Seeding your own new worth within you, because remember new worth starts within. So this is ideas for you, ideas for your life, ideas coming forward, new ideas coming forward. Letting go of the old debris. And also as well, this is a very interesting card. The Nine of Wands is about boundaries. And can you see the ones that are on the floor that have fizzled out? The Nine of Wands is about a man or a woman stood there and they're under attack with all the wands. But those wands have died out, they've burnt themselves out. Let your haters burn themselves out. And I wonder if that's what was coming up in the role reading as well. Letting the haters burn themselves out. Stop trying to defend yourself. I mean, stop, we need to, including me, stop trying to defend yourself. Let them burn themselves out. That's my final message. Let them burn themselves out. Whew. Well, before we get there, though, next group healing, 26th and 27th of October, is healing the narcissistic wound after abuse. So healing after narcissistic abuse. Um, all distance channeled, £22 for two days distance channeled healing. For more information, there's a video below in the description. You just have to scroll down a bit.
to take part in that, you go, my website is below as well, where the link takes you straight to it. So you go to, to my description box or comment section and you scroll down to the next group here link and it says more information and to take part. Um, yeah, so some big, big energies, some big breakthroughs. Keep doing you, keep being you, keep your eye on your own game in your own lane. That's not saying you're not bothered about the rest of the world, but knowing where you can put your energy because way too many people are leaving themselves depleted and exhausted. And actually right now we need as much energy in our tank as possible to be able to get these new energies that are coming in and to be able to rise and rise and rise. So, then the clouds parted. If you've enjoyed this, please do like, drop me a comment, share the video, subscribe for more information, more information, more content. Make sure you press the bell at subscription as well because, and when they say subscribe, it doesn't mean you have to pay. I don't know why they say subscribe because people think you subscribe, you have to pay. Just say liking or following. Press the bell at the side to make sure that you get your updates when I do videos. Thanks for watching. See you later. Take care and look out for the pick a card reading, the 1111 reading and some other, I might bring some more belters through actually as well. So anyway, see you later. Bye.